In February of 2013, 21-year-old Elisa Lamb from Vancouver, Canada was found dead inside the Cecil Hotel's rooftop water tank in Los Angeles, California. The L.A. County Department of Coroner ruled the death accidental due to drowning and said absolutely no traces of drugs or alcohol were found in her system. However, there's much more to this story than what the police and the media are reporting. Here's the four-minute surveillance video of Elisa's moments before she ended up in the hotel's rooftop water tank. Seeing that the elevator doors are not closing, she starts acting extremely strange. You can see Elisa enter the elevator and press all of its buttons. However, despite this, the elevator doors don't close. She starts to look around her, almost as if she's hiding from someone, and at a minute and 57 seconds into the video, her hands start to move in an extremely unnatural way while she appears to be talking to someone.
After a few minutes of this, Elisa disappears and the elevator appears to start working again. After this incident with the elevator, Elisa apparently gained access to the rooftop of the hotel, climbed into its water tank, and somehow managed to pull the cover back over herself and drown in it. Nineteen days later, the guests at the hotel began complaining about sweetly disgusting tasting water and black water. It was then that the hotel maintenance checked the water tank and discovered Elisa's decaying body. After seeing that video, it would be easy to conclude that Elisa was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. However, in her autopsy, no drugs or alcohol was found, and according to Elisa's friends and family, she had no history of using any substances. But the story continues to get even more mysterious as we look into the history of the Cecil Hotel. The Cecil Hotel was built in the 1920s to provide a place for businessmen to come into town and spend a night or two. However, the Cecil Hotel was quickly upstaged by other more glamorous hotels in the area. Located near the infamous Skid Row, the hotel began renting its rooms out on a long-term basis for extremely cheap prices. This, of course, attracted a shiftier crowd. The hotel's reputation quickly turned morbid when it became notorious for murders and suicides. One of the hotel's most famous murderers, Richard Ramirez, who is now on death row, stayed at the hotel in 1985 in a top floor room. He killed 13 women during his stay at the hotel. Jack Underweger, a journalist who was covering crime in Los Angeles, was living in the hotel in 1991 in homage to Ramirez. Jack killed three prostitutes in LA while being a guest at the hotel. In the 50s and 60s, the Cecil Hotel was known as the place people would go to to jump out of windows and kill themselves. Helen Gurney, in her 50s, leaped from a 7th floor window, landing on the Cecil Hotel Marquis on October 22, 1954. Julia Moore jumped from her 8th floor hotel room in 1962. Pauline Auten, 27, jumped from her 9th floor hotel room after an argument with her estranged husband on October 12, 1962. Otten landed on George Gianni, 65, who was walking on the sidewalk, killing them both instantly. Pigeon Goldie Osgood, a guest at the hotel and a retired telephone operator, known for feeding the pigeons in a park nearby, was found dead in his ransacked hotel room on June 4, 1964. He had been strangled and raped. Another odd coincidence? The 2005 movie Dark Water. Here's the premise. Dahlia, the movie's main protagonist, moves into an apartment building with her young daughter, Cecilia. Both of these names are very relevant. Black Dahlia is the name given to Elizabeth Short, a woman who was the gruesome victim of a murder in 1947, one that appeared to be ritualistic. The case was never solved, but according to the LA Observed, it is rumored that the Black Dahlia was at the Cecil Hotel right before she was murdered. In the movie, Cecilia, the daughter, is quite similar to the name Cecil Hotel. After moving into the apartment, Dahlia notices dark water dripping from the ceiling in the bathroom. She eventually discovers that a young girl named Natasha Rimsky drowned in the building's rooftop water tank, causing the water to turn black. Elisa Lamb's body was in the water tank for over two weeks, also causing the hotel's water to turn black. And the ending of the movie? The apartment building's elevator malfunctions. As if there needed to be another coincidence to make this story even creepier? Shortly after the discovery of Elisa Lamb's body, a deadly outbreak of tuberculosis occurred in Skid Row near the Cecil Hotel. And the name of the test kit used in these kinds of situations? Lam Elisa. LA authorities ruled in 2013 that Elisa Lam's death was accidental and that she was, and I quote, probably bipolar. That being said, how did Elisa manage to access the hotel's water tank on the roof that is not only locked, but also set up with alarms? Here's a news report that describes the water tank area. A grim discovery the downtown LA hotel. Police say the body found in a hotel water tank is that of a 21 year old Canadian tourist, Elisa Lam. Kate Taylor's Eric Spillman joins us live now from downtown LA with the latest on her mysterious death. Good morning. Hi, Megan. I just got off the phone with the coroner's office, and they're talking about performing an autopsy on the body perhaps as soon as tomorrow. The cause of death is going to be an important piece of the puzzle here. What a bizarre discovery it was yesterday. Let me show you some pictures of firefighters on the roof here of the Cecil Hotel. The body was found in a large water tank on the rooftop. People staying at the hotel complained of low water pressure, so a maintenance worker went up to check 
he found the naked body of a woman in her 20s at the bottom of one of the tanks. Firefighters had to use a saw to cut a hole in the tank, drain the water out, and remove the body. Now, they've identified her as 21-year-old Elisa Lamb. She's from Vancouver, Canada, was last seen at the Cecil on January the 31st. Police are calling her death suspicious, not yet calling it a murder, and they're saying they cannot rule out foul play. Here's what's really interesting. Investigators did a thorough search of the hotel, uh, including the rooftop area, three weeks ago, and they used search dogs to do it. Also, the only way to the roof is through a locked and alarmed door that only employees have a key to. That, or you can use the fire escape. At least one resident says he heard some kind of a loud noise or explosion coming from the rooftop area the day before the woman was reported missing. Forceful that I fell out of bed. All right? I kept at, then the following day, uh, the water system was all plugged up. Adding to the mystery surveillance video from the hotel elevator, the last known pictures of Alyssa Lamb. They show her pushing buttons in the elevator, uh, hiding, looks like she's hiding there, waiting in the hallway for somebody, and then at one point waving her arms around. We know that she came to Los Angeles about four days prior to when she was reported missing. Not quite sure why she came here or whether she visited anyone here. Come back here live to the pictures of the... Uh, of the Cecil Hotel here. You can imagine how freaked out residents were about this discovery. They actually brought in the health department to test the water from that water tank and they did not find any biohazard. But people very, very uh, concerned and shocked about this whole thing and investigators with just a lot of questions and not very many answers. We'll send it back to you. The questions that I think uh, many of us have, and when you talked about how they had to get her out, they had to cut a hole in the top, apparently, of it. So if that's how they had to get her out, how in the world might have she been put in or had she got in it? Yeah, that's, uh, and when you think about the restrictions on how you can get up there. Uh, you have to go through a locked door. There's an alarm system that notifies the hotel if anyone's up there. Uh, it's just very strange. To say right. the least, yeah. Eric, thank you. As you just saw in the video, the rooftop is locked and protected with alarms. So, how did Elisa not only reach that area, but how did she lift the water tank lid to climb in and then pull it back over herself? The firefighters had to cut a hole in the tank to get her out. There are many unanswered questions in this case, as authorities have been incredibly secretive and quiet during this investigation. What really happened here? Why are there so many strange coincidences? Is this a paranormal death or a ritualistic murder? Why is the Cecil Hotel such a hotbed for negative and murderous activity? As the slogan for the Dark Water movie goes, maybe some mysteries are just not meant to be solved.